We begin Denver 7 News at 5 with breaking news. We're learning the names of the two other victims killed in the Colorado Springs shooting. 29-year-old Army veteran Kier Stewart and a mother, Jennifer Markovsky, two of the three people killed in Friday's shooting. Denver 7 reporter Kyle Horan's in Colorado Springs right now. And Kyle, we're learning more about these victims and a major road in that area just reopened. Exactly. Within the past hour, this road reopened. This is Centennial Boulevard. You can see traffic flowing through here. This has been closed since that shooting on Friday. They're still investigating over in the parking lot of Planned Parenthood, but they have reopened this road and are allowing some traffic through this side road right now. You can see that police officer stopping this car. However, we're learning more about those two victims. Police confirm Kier Stewart joined the Army in 2004 and did a tour in Iraq. A friend says he was a stand-up guy. The other victim, Jennifer Markovsky, was a mother who leaves behind two children. She was accompanying a friend to the clinic on Friday when she was killed. Earlier today, I found emergency, emergency personnel working to help victims from that shooting. Even as flowers and well wishes still show up at Planned Parenthood. Please, if you've been impacted by this incident, do not isolate yourself. Healing can begin in the form of counseling. We're prepared for as many people as we receive. At this expo center in Colorado Springs. Th these are the kinds of things that we do uh, every day. Our unit is deployed as an acute crisis uh, unit. The feelings after a crisis are taken on by these people. <laughs> we, we are expecting that, uh, that people who, um, who may have been perif you know, peripherally involved in the incident, and we're here basically as a, as a resource to them. This is something Daniel Va does year-round. And this event today really is, is trying to focus on people that, uh, that were near the event. He's a paramedic for the fire department, but he looks out for people in need. Uh, we really come together um, in, in these cases. Even when first responders are also impacted by the tragedy. We, we really try to, to be the, the tip of the spear for mental health um, in, in our community. That crisis center is on North Nevada Avenue here in Colorado Springs. It will be open daily to the public until this Thursday. Reporting live, Kyle Horan, Denver 7.